Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a little bit more with this Goal 1 Pro. So I currently have Parrot running on it, which this nice little case and keyboard, and this is what I want to start using. Like I said, I have Parrot OS Linux running on it. But I want to get Windows 11 loaded on one of these cards, and then I can have each additional card with a different OS, or obviously other things if I want it for, to use it for other things. But I'll have in the description the goal, this case I found, this keyboard that works really well, and even this little card holder. Um, links to them, but it should work out pretty well. Like I said, just simply want to be able to run multiple OS's without having to completely reflash it every time. I have found that putting Windows 11 on SD is a little more complicated than just reloading it onto the goal. So we are at least going to go over how to get Windows 11 onto one of these SD cards. One other thing I wanted to mention is that this is the same way you would create this installation or this is the same way you would install Windows 11 to a SD card if you're wanting to use this in like a Steam Deck or something like that. So th this will work for anything else that you just want to run Windows 11 off an SD card. So this isn't specific to the High Goal Goal 1 Pro. This is just specific to installing Windows on an SD card. So to get started, you need your media creation tool from Microsoft Store. So you can get to that, you know, you can just Google Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Go to download Windows 11. And it'll be the Create Windows Installation Media. So it'll be this one. And I'll link this in the uh, description as well. But once you have that, you'll go into the Media Creation Tool. You'll let it do its little spinny thing. Accept it. You know, sign your way, sign your life away to Microsoft. You know, they love to collect your data, which we will do a little bit of stopping that in a minute, and I'll show you. So next, and instead of selecting a USB drive, which it would probably pick up the SD card the way I have it in right now, you're going to want to download an ISO file and just hit next, and it'll start downloading it. I've already done this to save a little bit of time. So we have our Windows 11 ISO. After that, you're going to want this Rufus program, which again, I will post a link to this thing as well. It's a very popular media or a bootable drive tool. looks like this. I specifically use the portable version of it so that I don't, it, don't have to worry about it staying installed or anything. I just have a an EXE I run whenever I want to use it. It doesn't stay installed. So we will open it. Yes, I've already got my 64 gigabyte SD card in. We're going to select the Windows 11 ISO. We're going to change this in image options to Windows to go. We can leave the rest of the settings together. And then we're going to hit start. So here we want Windows Pro because that's what came on the H goal or goal pro. Go One Pro, and here we want to
prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disk. Remove requirements for an online, online Microsoft account. Disable data collection. We don't, nobody likes that. Nobody wants to give their data completely to Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and create a local user. And then press OK. This warning will pop up. As long as you don't have anything important on this SD card, just hit OK. If you do, go ahead and back it up because everything will be deleted off of it. But if everything's empty, if it's an empty drive, just hit OK. Now we just let Rufus do its work. And when it's done, we'll be back. All right, we got it all done. So let's go ahead and close out of Rufus and eject this new drive. So now that it's ejected, Let's first shut down the high goal one pro. Then we're going to put in the SD card with our Windows image on it. We're going to turn the goal back on. When we turn it back on, we're going to wa want to mash F7. And that'll get us to the boot. So let's go ahead and select partition one. And then it's going to take a long time. It's going to go through all of the standard Windows installations, setup stuff. So we'll see it on this American Megatrends page for a while. It'll look like it restarts and stuff. But I'll come back whenever it's done and we'll look at how it's set up. And this is where we'll get a little more specific to the goal. We will go in, I will show you where to find the drivers to get the rotating screen and everything loaded again. Okay, that took a good 10 minutes or so. So let's go through this setup. So like I stated, this is tiny windows. So it has very little on it. And as you'll see when it loads up, it doesn't even have a browser. It, it does have like a, sh a, a place saver for Edge, but you can't actually load Edge. But I have Brave installed, or the Brave installer here. So I'll connect it here in just a minute. Alright, so here it is. Got it all loaded in. As you see, there's nothing there. There's a Windows Edge shortcut there, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. Something to do with paging files. Not too worried about it. All right, so all right, we're connected to the internet. 
So let's go into this USB drive. And let's install Brave Browser. You notice there's no pinned files at all, none of the stuff that typically comes with Windows. This is already a pretty low powered device, so I think Tiny 11 will complement it a lot better than just a full blown, full fledged Windows 11 install. Granted, a lot of the stuff that's removed in Tiny 11, you can kind of slim down Windows 11 yourself, taking a lot of this stuff out of it so you, you can search for that and you can probably find multiple videos on it all right so braves installed so to find the drivers you're going to search high goal and you're going to go to goal rugged.com And from here, you're going to go hamburger menu. OS and drive, I think it was. Yeah, here it is. So we have the key code query. I don't think it's anything we need to worry about. But you've got the gravity sensor, TP drive, Wi-Fi 6. So this is the one we'll need for Wi-Fi. We still haven't got it to work on Linux, but it is something we are slowly working on. Wi-Fi 5, sound card, and there's Ubuntu, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, which actually did not work whenever I tried it. But I, I, I did try to impair it, so it was a different kernel version, which is the biggest reason it didn't work. Anyway, the, the, these are the drivers that you need if you want to get it working back stock. But that's it. Uh, we got Windows running on it. We've got one of our up to 10 drives filled up with a OS. I'm not sure what else I want to put on it. Uh, Linux, I'm not going to go through in a tutorial on how to put Linux on one of these things. Linux is a lot easier. Uh, I mean, with Linux, you can probably even just go ahead and throw the drive in here. And when you go through the installs, you can probably choose the, the SD card. Whereas with Windows, it wouldn't allow you to choose the SD card. So you had to create a Go drive. And if not, you can probably do it all through Rufus like we just did. So thanks for tuning in. Again, link to all this in the description. A couple of other little helpful video links. Uh, one more thing I did want to mention that I don't think I mentioned in my unboxing is that this USB-C, that the charger that comes with it, is a 12 volt charger. So it is not like your standard phone charger. Our standard phone chargers are going to be 5 volt. So be careful using this with devices other than the goal. I would suggest just keeping it to this device only for this device. So just keep that in mind. Again, we'll see you next time. I am, my goal is to do two videos a week. I think I'm gonna target Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, it's been too hard for me to get Mondays. Mondays is just, you know, it's typical Monday. So I'm going to target Tuesdays and Fridays. I should have plenty of time to get videos out both of those days. So this one will be coming out on Tuesday. And then I'm not sure what my next video will be after that. I'm kind of thinking about doing a Medicaid, Medicaid, Med Medicat disk drive, you know, for troubleshooting computers. And it's also Ventu, which means I could throw all my ISOs on it as well. This is a 256 gig USB drive, so I can make this one USB drive boot everything I need it to. If I don't do this, 
it'll either be another video on the goal doing something or I will go back to doing some Hackerbox stuff. I do still have Hackerbox 79, which I think they may still have some of, so I may go ahead and do that one. And then I have another Hackerbox that I just never got around to that I may go ahead and do as well just to get it knocked out. So thanks for making it this far. If you would like and subscribe like I've mentioned in previous videos once I get to that thousand subscribers I will be building out one of these war drivers again to give away so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe uh, the only requirement I'm gonna have for the giveaway is to be subscribed to my YouTube channel so if you're not subscribed get there and then once we hit a thousand I will do a video on building that and give it away probably a week or two after that video goes live. Thanks for tuning in.